Hi there, Francis Potter here, Solution Architect with GitLab. Uh, I did a thing and I think it might be interesting to some people. So I wanted to show it off and uh, just share it. So what we're doing is nested dynamic pipelines. So let me explain this to set it up. Uh, GitLab has parent child pipelines and this allows one pipeline to call another pipeline. So you have two YAML files for CI configuration and one of them can reference the other one and say, okay, at this point in my process, call that other pipeline. And you actually end up with these, what, they, what we call downstream pipelines. Um, and this is super powerful because unlike the include syntax, which kind of pulls everything together into one pipeline, you're actually calling into completely independent pipelines with independent namespaces and stuff. So it's a, it's a pretty advanced way of combining pipelines together. And there are two little sort of sub facets of that, if you will, that are really interesting. One of them is dynamic child pipelines. And this allows you to do a child pipeline where the YAML doesn't exist in the repo. So you can have a job in your parent pipeline that generates YAML. And then you actually put that YAML in an artifact and you reference that artifact in your trigger block so that you can call a child pipeline. The other that's really interesting is nested child pipelines which allows you to uh, have a child pipeline call another child pipeline. Now, the question that I was trying to address was, is it possible to have a parent that calls a child and a child to call a grandchild where the child and the grandchild are both dynamic and where both of them are defined in the parent job? Now, in order to do that, not only do we have to call child dynamic pipelines, we also have to pass the, um, the grandchild's YAML configuration to the child uh, as an artifact so that it has access to it. So it turns out there actually is a way to do that. Um, there is artifact downloads to child pipelines right here that allows you to actually uh, reference the, the main parent pipeline from within the child pipeline when you're trying to determine the download, when you're trying to determine where you're gonna download that artifact from. And so there's instructions how to do that here. It's a little bit janky, but it does actually work. Here's the example project. It's at gitlab.com, F Potter examples, nested dynamic pipelines. It's public, you can look at it if you want. Um, and I kind of described the problem space here in the uh, readme. So let's look real quick. Here's the main GitLab CI YAML file. And uh, what I have here is a setup job, which essentially creates those YAML files. Now I use different words here. I use outer for the child and nested for the grandchild, but it's the same idea. Also notice I'm not really doing YAML generation here. I'm just copying files, but this could be a complete generation, a templated process, whatever you want it to be. Um, then this is the trigger job, which is actually including that outer YAML and, uh, and setting up strategy depend. And the other thing that's happening here that's really important is I'm passing in as a variable, this parent pipeline ID, which is the pipeline ID of this pipeline that's actually running, okay? CI pipeline ID. There's also a finalized job just to demo that we can, uh, we can kind of wrap everything up after it's all run, all right? So then if we go back out, I've got the, I've got the outer GitLab CI.yaml. So this is the child and it has a job which I'm calling handle YAML. What handle YAML doing is doing is it's actually pulling the nested YAML from the parent here and then putting it into its own artifact here. So you don't have access to the parent's artifacts, but you can get items from the parent's artifacts and put them in your own artifacts. Okay, this job doesn't really need to have a script, but it does need to exist separately from the call, the, the, the call nested job. So um, I just put a little echo statement in the script. And then here we're calling the grandchild by referencing that artifact, that nested YAML artifact. Okay, and then uh, generated config nested is just a, uh, it's just doing a, an echo statement is all it's doing. So when we run the pipeline, this is what happens. It's pretty cool. Uh, here's the setup and the test and the finalized. So the test job is actually running the, um, oops, I didn't necessarily mean to click that. Um, the test job is actually running the downstream pipeline. That's the child pipeline. 
It's doing the YAML handling and then calling the nested pipeline. And the nested pipeline is down here, which is actually uh, in this status job, actually dumping some output. So I have a dynamic pipeline for the child, a dynamic pipeline for the grandchild, all being generated and called from within the parent. Now, why would you want to do this? You might ask. Um, there's a particular requirement from a customer, which is to uh, actually deploy an application to multiple Kubernetes clusters. And the number of Kubernetes clusters isn't necessarily known when the pipelines are defined. And so they want to be able to generate a, a YAML a CI configuration for each Kubernetes cluster and then have a pipeline in between that runs all of those. And so this, your pipeline in between would be this child, which would then essentially loop through and run all of the uh, grandchildren. And you'd have a whole bunch of grandchildren pipelines here. So anyway, I hope this is interesting. And um, yeah, I don't know whether it's useful to anyone other than the customer who asked for it, but just in case it is, there you have it. And it seems to work.